Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So OnePlus have finally started rolling out March update for OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro. And in this video, we'll talk about what all changes OnePlus have done and whether they have fixed the issues which were present on previous build. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 9 on which I have already installed the latest build of Oxygen OS 13. It's a stage rollout so it might take some time to receive it on your device. So as you can see if you go to Android version, Android version is 13 which comes with 5th March 2023 security patch and the build number is F.21. The update size was quite small you can see it's around 174 MB. If you guys haven't received the OTA update I'll try to provide the files in the description below as even I did not receive it via OTA so I had to locally install the update. First let me show you the benchmark results. So I did compare benchmark results with high performance mode and normal mode. So here you can see with Geekbench application in normal mode single course code 1016 and multi course code 3415. But with high performance mode, there are a bit of improvements which can be seen. Single core scores 1327 and multi core score 3463. But I did not notice any kind of difference in the CPU throttling as I did normal test for 15 minutes without performance mode, device CPU throttled up to 89 and with performance mode also 89%. But without performance mode, you can see average gips were little bit higher compared to the one which we did with high performance mode. And guys before moving ahead if you guys like our content and if you think it's useful for you guys then make sure to smash that like button and do consider subscribing that will motivate us in making better content with quality and guys a lot of users have still been complaining about the green line issues for your safety purpose we have already made a video make sure to check it out i'll leave that link in the description below so if you install any update make sure to shoot a video of entire installation process so that if line appears after installing the newer build then you should have a proof which you can present in the service center and they'll replace it for free of cost first let me show you the change logs those change logs did not bring anything new but i'll talk about some of the issues which were present on the previous build and we'll show you guys whether those things have been fixed if you see the change logs these are layered to system and communication as said they haven't done any new add-on but on this build now i do get a stable 5g connectivity on my geo sim card so here you can see the results download speed was 634 mb and upload speed was 23.0 mb if you see the detailed results here you can see and if I scroll down there you can see Reliance Geo and in the status bar also you can see the 5G icon. So now if you have Geo SIM card you can enjoy 5G connectivity on your OnePlus 9 series. And there are still people who have been continuously asking that call recording option is not available on their devices running Oxygen OS 13. So here OnePlus have already mentioned in their thread of everything about Oxygen OS 13 March update in which they have clearly mentioned it's a privacy issue of particular region. So if you're not getting the call recording option in that particular region, you guys can't do anything. I did notice a bug after installing this update which you guys can see on the screen. The screen was completely unresponsive. I had to restart the device but this occurred only once. After restarting the device this did not appear. So I am not sure it was a temporary bug. If I face it in future as always I will mention that in my review video. The previously camera application was 3.446.52. There is a minor upgrade. If you go to about section here you can see it's 446.55 now and in previous video i did mention that oneplus have fixed that stutters issue while recording videos in 4k but here you can see on the screen initially for once i did notice lag for few seconds while recording 4k at 60 fps but after that it got automatically fixed until now there are no issues at all but if you guys still face the issue of laggy video while recording 4k at 60 fps then do let us know in the comment section below when it comes to stutters previously there were issues on the build wherein we used to see little bit of jitters while using applications like flipkart amazon and other few applications too but now that has been fixed and now another thing which i have noticed after the update now most of the applications including instagram do have the support of 120 fps which wasn't the case on previous build as far as i remember oneplus had restricted them to 60 fps but now most of the applications do support 120 fps other than youtube application which automatically switches to 60 fps and there's a bug i'm not sure whether it was present on the previous build or not right now you can see the icon pack is set to circular but if i tap on this search icon the application appears in the square form i mean to say the application shape but here we have applied the circular one 
This looks weird. I hope in future OnePlus do make changes in such minor things. And at last talking about the gaming part. Gaming part is still the same. BGMI lags a lot. There are a lot of frame drops. I did play a few TDMs. I'll do more in-depth testing and post you guys in the review video. I'm working on something that might help in improving the gaming performance. If that thing works, I'll do a video on it. So guys, as of now, only this much in this video, there's nothing much to cover about this update. If you guys still have any kind of questions, you can let me know in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.